on this <clears throat> big mess mate car. Really huge. So better get cracking. First head of about 400 in this tree. So much sawdust in my eyeballs, so windy, dusty mess mate. Alright, we've got half the head. Finally, the head. Ooh, nice gusty breeze. It's been a, been a massive day. Haven't, haven't had a lunch break, haven't got down. Um, about four o'clock, got in the tree at eight, and just been going slogging it out the whole time. Guys, I've just hit myself with the chainsaw. I'm bleeding pretty bad. The guys have just called an ambulance. Oh man, look at that. Oh, far out. Oh. Guys, I'm just kidding. It's sap. Oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. It was worth it. Oh, yummy. Oh, bro, I'm gonna be so sticky after this. In all seriousness, Imagine if you were blocking down and you pulled the chainsaw out, kicked back and got you in the arm or the chest, you're going to want to be able to get down as quick as possible. So always have, if you're double roping, cambium saver, you can just zip straight down, 
single line, tied off, and you can just undo your pole belt, get straight to the ground before you potentially lost too much blood and lost consciousness. Yeah, um, definitely, definitely not worth joking around with that sort of thing. Safety is no joke.